In this video, we will take a look at the fee billing schedule module and how to set it up. Fee billing schedules can be used to charge members for their particular activity type and member category matrix, which need to be established previously in club management, club setup, activity types, and club management, club setup, member categories. To add a new field billing schedule or edit an existing one, navigate to club management, club setup, fee billing schedule. Make sure that the correct club code is selected if you have more than one setup. Select the member activity type if you would like to edit the existing fee billing schedule. You can make edits and hit OK to save the schedule. To create a new one, click on Set up another fee billing schedule. Select a member category or click Access Setup Program to create a new one if your user ID has menu access. Enter the description of the fee billing schedule. This description will be printed on the member statements. Enter the total to bill for the schedule. This would be the total amount for the whole year. Use the billings frequency field to set the pattern of billing. Choices include annual, once per year, semi-annual, twice yearly, quarterly, every three months, monthly, every month, and other you get to choose the months and amount. The total in the billing schedule of the screen must add up to your total to bill amount. Set the first month to bill to determine the starting month for the population of the schedule. Enter the month number 1 to 12 to indicate which month receives the billing amount for that type of billing. For example, a quarterly billing starting in February would get the total bill amount distributed to February May, August, and November. Update GL account is used to select the revenue GL account to be used to post this fee billing when billed. If we click on the GL button, it pops up the revenue goes to window. The first field is for the company code and you will need to make sure that the company code matches the one that was previously selected. Then select the appropriate GL account, department, and sub-account if applicable. Under the other section, the first field to be set is the interest code. Click on the magnifying glass icon to view all the available options and choose one of the available options. Follow the same steps to choose the reporting category. It's recommended to create a new sales reporting category that matches what you are billing for, for reporting purposes. However, Leave this field blank to use the default due sales reporting category. The general member message field is optionally used to associate a VIP message with this fee billing. It will appear for all the members with this fee billing schedule associated with their accounts. Select the prorate field to have the system determine the amount of prorated dues to charge a new member that has never been charged before. It uses the stored last dues date to determine this and a date joint field in the member file screen and the first month to bill field to work out the period of time that has elapsed to determine the prorated amount to bill. Select the suspend billing field to have this fee billing schedule made inactive so that it isn't billed when the member fee billing or dues is run. Once you're done configuring the fee billing schedule, select OK to save. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next part of the fee billing schedule video and don't forget to subscribe.